wine on the table. And two cups. You would not leave your work unfinished. But how did you know it would be tonight? Well, with Hugh Berenger guarding his prisoner in the castle, what better time to get the children away? Even Amina will be here presently. How can you be sure I'm fit to be trusted? You know nothing of me. I know perhaps more than you think. I know your name. I know who you serve. I know you were born in Syria, of a Syrian mother and a knight crusader. I know that Amina has set her heart on you. And by that amber stare that you have set your heart on her. I fear she has somewhat deceived you. And herself. For Amina, every soldier of the crusade could be nothing less than a noble knight. My father was a simple man-at-arms of Robert of Normandy's force. Ah, and your mother? A good woman of Islam. I am their bastard. Got between faiths and peoples. But for all that, I think myself well-mothered and fathered, and the equal of any man living. Half humankind matches without ritual blessing, and not necessarily the worse half. I might imagine you speak of your own knowledge. Oh, I was in the world 40 years before I took this discipline for my cure. I've been soldier, sailor, and sinner, <laughs> even crusader. At least that was pure. However, the cause fell short of my hopes. She's dead, your mother. I would never have left her otherwise. She was a, a poor widow who had a booth in the market of Antioch, in the street of the sailmakers. What was your father like? I never knew him. They had been lovers long before when he came first to Syria, but he sailed for England from St. Simeon after their last meeting. He never knew he had a son. What was his name? She would not tell me. But she often praised him as brave and kind. There cannot be much wrong with a mating that left her with such fondness and pride. My mother bore the same name as your Lady Mary, though in our tongue it would be said, Mariam. Perhaps you met her, if you were in the Holy Land, or, or knew my father. Someone like him, perhaps, once, long ago. But your mother... From what you've told me, I'm certain I should have remembered her... We're ready. ...all my life. Brother, we owe you so much. Eve, between friends, there is no owing. My son. Go in peace. This was an unexpected stroke. I never thought that so marvellous a creature could be in this world with mine and Marion's blood in his veins. Should I have told him? No, what needs he now, my father? But by your grace, I have seen him. I have sat and talked with him of times past. I have kissed him. I have had cause to be glad of him and shall have cause to feel glad and lifelong. What does it matter if these eyes may never see him again? <laughs>